thank you for taking time to come and see me here today and to uh, have this interview. Um, as you know, my name is Debo Fomukashwa. I'm, uh, I'm an entrepreneur and uh, developer, commercial property developer. Uh, the main focus of my business is property, finance, uh, as well as uh, infrastructure development. Uh, my business is really a diversified investment holding company with interests in those fields and we continuously looking for opportunities to expand into other sectors of the economy. I was born in Katlehom and, and grew up in Soweto, a uh, typical township upbringing, South African uh, upbringing from uh, a fairly low base, as you can imagine, as we all come, where we come from. Um, now I've had to work my way up through arming myself with, with education um, as well as uh, relationships that I've had to build over, the, over my career. So I would say that, uh, you know, it's been a, a, an interesting mix of hard work as well as talent to, 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 to uh, you know, to advance to where I've come today. Well, I started out as a consulting engineer uh, in somewhere in 97. Um, it, it was an entrepreneurial uh, business in the sense that I, I had to go out seek clients that needed engineering services and that business grew into a property development business and then finance uh, data financing came along the way as my balance sheet you know strengthened over time I've had a lot of support from banks commercial banks uh, you know banks want to fund sustainable investments so one just has to do research about what projects you want to invest in especially in the in the property development space uh, you know during my career it was the time when retail developments were expanding into into townships or previously underdeveloped areas so it could be said that it was uh, there's also been a sense of right place, right time for me in my career. Uh, it was a time when our country was changing. Significant amount of investment in infrastructure and development, you know, uh, was going into the townships. And, you know, armed with the skills that I had of an engineer and an understanding of the financial markets, you know, that worked very well for me to start building a business which has become what you see here today. You know what, success is not always guaranteed. I'll say that uh, failure is, is so much a part of success because, you know, in my world, uh, I judge success as, 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 a, as a means of getting through your failures. You know, because in business there's all so many risks in every idea you want to start, I'm saying, you know, one in ten could prosper. But over time, you get to develop, you know, a survival instinct that, uh, that guides your, your intuition into doing business deals. So for my sake, uh, you know, it's, it's just been a journey of learning, learning and more learning. I mean, to this day, I still don't stop learning. And, um, you know, uh, a lot, there's a lot to be said for, for relationships. I think uh, one has to maintain key relationships in order to, to grow. And um, again, mentorship is important to try and identify people from whom you can continue to learn and advance your program. So I think um, all of these factors coming together would bode very well for success. I was 20 years old. I mean, straight out of university, I, I, I started my own business. The idea of, of uh, formal employment never appealed to me. And I suppose I was blessed enough not to have to seek formal employment. So I, were, I was in a position where I could, you know, determine my own destiny and, and sort of 
paint my own life in the way that I saw fit. And that's what I did. Well, I think uh, risk mitigation. Uh, I think I've done a few things that have not worked in my life. Uh, but it's also been a lesson in, in development that uh, risk appreciation and risk mitigation is something that is important uh, in order to grow a business sustainably. Uh, having said that, I must say that I have no regrets in all that I have done. Even those that have not worked, I've, I mean, I've learned from them and, and used those uh, learning uh, experiences to improve my own development. I think it's important to, to take advice from competent people. Uh, in my business, I rely a lot on legal advice, demographic advice, you know, economic studies, and as well as accounting structuring advice. So in order to grow, one needs to surround oneself with good advisors. But then again, the advisors cannot make decisions for your business, but it's important to seek advice and follow good advice. Look, I think it's a, it's a bit of both. Expensive resources are expensive. It also depends on, uh, on the state of, or financial state of any company. The best, the ideal solution is to get the best skills you can, you know. But of course, uh, you know, highly skilled people do cost a lot. There's a space as well for mentorship within a business. So I would say that if you can good, get good people, you must get them. When I say good people, I'm saying experienced and competent people. And also create space for less competent and inexperienced people that would provide, you know, opportunities for mentorship for those that are less experienced. So in a nutshell, I'll say that certainly for me in my business, you know, it's all about people. You know, I'm as good as my team that supports me here in the office. I think passion is an integral part of success. You've got to be passionate in whatever you do. In order to be successful, you need to have an honest conversation with yourself and determine if you are passionate about what you do. And if the answer is yes, then I'll say the next important attribute to success is integrity. It's how you deal with others and how others perceive you in business. Um, and integrity goes a long way towards building a sustainable business. You know, it's a lot blessed. It's not also by my own do. A lot of the things that I do is not my own. Uh, and and I, I do believe that we are who we are because of, of, of Almighty's blessing. I really would advise any new aspiring entrepreneurs to follow their dreams and really, you know, break the barriers of, of uh, intimidation or doubt in themselves because I do believe that anything is, is possible. I've seen it myself, um, especially when you have nothing to lose. I think uh, it follows that we all have everything to gain if we follow our dreams. My name is Tebo Homohashwa. You are watching the Black Excellence Series brought to you by Benita Daniel.